Hi guys and welcome to my channel where today I am doing some die cutting um, you can see and the reason to do the die cutting is um, multi-purpose okay so this is um, a new journal a new fall journal for me I have not done the insides you guys I can't get you in frame here because I got so much stuff on my desk um so new journal for the fall and I'm going to be using the Heirloom Harvest um, paper pack from Michaels and I've just been using all my die cuts this again is going to be um, with brown bag signatures I've, I'm determined and so on the these are waterfall tags and you they're not complete you still need to put something under them but it was pretty cool so if you have this die this is how you're going to use it so you glue these down and then of course you're going to want something under here um, my plan is to cut something else for the inside just like that so it's not you know plain right it's not plain there'll be one for the outside and then one for the inside of course it'll be right side up and then it'll have something under it here right and it'll cover this piece and then the next piece goes right underneath just a little ways right so you're going to glue this one on and again this one will have a front and a back and something under it so once you've gotten them let's say you've cut four we're going to pretend this is our four right you got one two three four and this is your guide this is what holds them in this is going to go up right and then you're going to have a little button a little light folio style round button I put it in a little tiny pack but it'll go here and then you'll just you'll put one here and one here and then you'll just wrap your string around it so then when you're ready to journal you'll just undo the string bend this one down and then these ones will all flip up I thought it was very clever and I'm glad I got it so I've only cut um, a couple of them I'm that's what I said I'm working on that fall journal and it's gonna have all kinds of fall stuff in it and then what else did I cut Okay, I cut some pockets and I'm not done with pockets yet. I'm just going to have pockets. And then in here are all kinds of just little extras. Right? I'll see here's your folio style buttons. So one will be. Well, I guess you put this one from the top. Or maybe I'll make that one the bottom. I'll make that one the bottom because I you know how I don't like anything white and then I'll just I'll cut another one for the top I hate that it's upside down though I do hate that well if you're doing it this way then it wouldn't be it would be right side up okay so here's your little assuming this was the right direction and the next one I make will be there's your little button for that side right and then your little coordinating colored one is in here your patterned one is in here somewhere and then I just cut a bunch of little tags little itty bitty different colored tags for it I also got nesting tags for it and there is another little there's another little circle in here guys itty bitty thing like the blue one not very big so I got all of this stuff right 
and this all goes in. What I'm going to do, and I think it's going to be really cool, is make um, altered paper clips, and then I'm going to cut a bunch of these to put in the paper clips. I think it's going to be a pretty cool idea. And we, oh, here it is. See? Now this will go on there. And I swore I had a patterned one. Well, there'll be, there'll be a patterned one here pretty quick because I'm going to cut a bunch of different ones of those out of different colors. So anyhow, all of that goes back in here. And this will also go in there, a little coin folder, folder, pocket, bag, container, whatever you want to call it. So all of that came out of there. So with my scraps, I'm just going to cut a bunch of itty bitty tiny things. And when we're ready, we'll just go through. Did I bend? I felt like I bent something. We'll go through. Yeah, I think I did. Something feels bent. There, well, there we go. Yeah, much better. Anyhow, we'll go through and we'll start adding things and getting things embellished and also it's helping me because this is my I have paper packs upon paper packs upon paper packs stacked on paper packs so anyhow I'm labeling it and then I have these nesting tags cut and so I think I've showed you guys before I have a pattern and a plain color, a pattern and then a plain color, a pattern and then a plain color, and so and and so this one will have a matching um, partner. It will it'll be two sets, but they'll look the same. I think I showed you guys with. Um, let me find it here. I made them for the. Ladies Home Journal Folio, which you still have to get done. But see, there's two sets. And let me see if I can find the matching set to that. Okay, so they're made from two different colors of paper. I make two sets. I make one out of the pattern and one out of the plane. And then I just swap them out. So that's how those are happening and then here was another set I made with the little this one was with the sewing this one was with the mirror and then here is its partner with the sewing see how one is plain and one is patterned I think that I didn't make I haven't put the other one together yet. I have it, but I have not put it together. But anyhow, that's that. That's how those work. And so I made a set of the tags. And this will have a, like I said, it'll have a coordinating pack. And then here are the ovals, and it'll have a coordinating pack. The These will. And then this doesn't go with this set. I'll, I'll be making these for this harvest, whatever. So, harvest, er, heirloom harvest. So, I'm just making crap tons of ephemera, guys. One die, oh, one die cut at a time. And then I'm just loading them up. Here it is with that pattern. Here it is with the plain pattern. Those are just extras. Here it is with the side, the side slide. There's the side slide and then extras. See? So these will all be, these will all be um, cut as I go and I'm just going through what I have as far as dies. And then I'm just filling up these packages. And so these will all go 
in, you know, the kind of one of those boxes things. Those, these things that I got from the Dollar Tree. These guys that have the holes. One of those. And then I'll just fill those up. And they'll be marked just like I did my dies. And I'll be good to go. Oh, I made a little library card pocket. But I don't like the size. Like, I think this should be up to here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an index card a little longer and make it look more like a real library card. But I got that. And y'all, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing on this Wednesday. I got some gnomies and some other stuff. But right now I'm just getting through the nesting stuff. And then I'm going to cut my brown paper bags for this. And this is literally going to be... Let me show you. Um, it'll be thicker. But it'll have... See, this one came from my friend Elaine. And she just literally used brown paper bag. And some of them she sewed. This one's got a little pocket here. Just plain old Jane old brown paper bag. And I'm still not sure. I keep looking at this one and I'm thinking I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, and here's another pocket. Um, I thought maybe fall. I think this is. See, I thought maybe fall, right? Because of the colors. But I don't know. I, I think. Um, I think fall. You know, like I said, it's going to come to me. And one of the things I like about brown paper bags is you can have an eight and a half by whatever size um, cover and you can cut those bags to fit. It just needs more bags, right? So isn't this clever? So this will be part of my brown bag series. But like I said, I gotta work on the front. And it still hits me as fall, but I gotta get some better coordinating colors. Like These are fall, but they don't mix. They kind of clash. So I'm going to be looking for, as I wind through my die cuts and my paper, I'll be looking for something that coordinates with that color. Meanwhile, I'm headed back to die cutting. And I hope, like I said, if um, you have that die cut with the waterfall pockets, you'll be able to use it. Um, I had to just make it to understand it. So, all right, guys. Um, tomorrow, or Thursday and Friday, I'm going to try to finish up my summer, um, summer friends. And again, I'll be doing some die cutting for that. And then I'm going to just have my unfinished journals here in front of me and I'm going to start finishing up or not not necessarily finishing up but getting through my um, ooh, my journals like I'm going to start actively working on them maybe a little each day you know like one a day pull it out and work on it so wish me luck there guys I need to put that in an envelope and we'll get there we're all going to get there together right I, I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel and boy let me tell you I totally appreciate all of you who have watched my um, jelly plate video I never dreamed in my life that I would get so many views ever that's like a record for me at this point. Um, I'm going to put these in here so I can keep them separate, right? I don't mind them all being in one container, so i got to keep them separate. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.